Hello, this is Mars Labert, BBL Lab, and for the first episode of, I guess, season three of the podcast, and I'm here with head coach of the Cheshire Phoenix, Ben Thomas. So, how are you doing? I must say, yeah, thanks for having me. Um, feeling good. Obviously, pre-season started, so um, back to it. You, know, you don't realise how much time you had in the uh, summer until <laughs> the season starts and you're busy all the time. But, yeah, all good, enjoying it, and, you know, happy to be here with you. Yeah. Okay. Well. But yeah. So the new season starting in a couple of weeks. I think it's a, it's twenty sixth of September or, or some something like that. I think. So how how excited are you to get back back to it? Yeah, I think our first game is the Friday the twenty fourth. But oh, our first home game is the, our first home game is the twenty sixth. So that's might have been where you've seen that one. Um. Yeah. Really excited to be honest. Um. You know, last season was was good. You know, we yeah. were really really lucky that. You know the season was able to go ahead, and we were able to play and train and and things like that. And um, you know it was a privilege, really, when there's a lot of people that couldn't work. So yeah, it was great. But obviously, basketball is completely different when you don't have fans. And yeah. this year again, we're probably going to be limited with how many fans everywhere is allowed to have. But you know, really excited to get back out there in, in front of the home and away. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So. So yeah. So preseason is officially begun. I've seen it on social media. You know. Uh, so how I guess how's the camp been in the first kind of couple of days, and would you say it, you? I know you've not got much of a sample size to go off at the minute, but would you say you're ready for the first game against Sheffield? Um, the, the, it's gone really well. Um, you know the guys have been working really really hard, yeah. putting in loads of effort. Um, you know we've had lots of different sessions. We've had fitness sessions. We've had team sessions, individual sessions, and every single one so far has been really high energy, high effort, so can't fault them for that. It's been um, a really pleasant sort of four or five days. Are we ready to play our first game? You know, not yet. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, you know, we've got, you know, two more full weeks of, of pre-season. We've got a game this weekend, and then obviously we've got our tournament um, oh, on yeah, the 18th yeah. and the 19th at the Cheshire Oaks Arena, the Invitational, the Mike Byrne Invitational, so that'll be good. By the time we've played in all those preseason games and had you know the three four weeks of, of training, yeah, we'll be ready to go and there won't be any excuses to come the time to play Sheffield. Yeah, okay. So something something that interests me as well is the kind of people's for people's opinion on the format of kind of the season. You know, with the BBL Cup group stages kind of starting, and I know well speaking to fans, fans kind of. It's weird to have kind of an opinion of that kind of being an added preseason before you get into. The actual, uh, you know, the, the league. So I was just going to ask, you know, what what do you think on the format of, you know, how the season runs? Yeah, I mean, it's been this way now for two or three seasons. Yeah, yeah. Um, to be honest, I I think it's really good. I think you know, um, as much as when it comes to trophy, it can be like one and done sort of thing. If you lose, you're out straight away. The cup, yeah. you know, at least you haven't you know, you've got that little bit more security. Like, if you have one bad game, like, you're not yeah, out of yeah. the cup straight away. So, no, I, I really like it. Um, yeah, some people have used that expression. Like that it's a bit of an added pre-season. Um, and, you know, it, in some ways, it's right, you know, you find out how your team's going to play and what works and what doesn't work and that sort of thing. But I do think that every team takes it seriously. It's it's not like a pre-season where, yeah, oh, you, yeah, know, we're, yeah. you know, we're just looking for performance. Everyone's looking for results. So, um, it is serious. I, I, I do really like it. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, maybe two seasons ago now, where we f we qualified maybe third or or, or mm. something, and we played London City World. So you have four, however many group games it was, eight, eight group yeah, games yeah, or yeah. six group games. We travelled all the way down to London City Royals, and it was a one and done game there. So it, that you know maybe I'd like to have seen even the first round out the groups would be like a two-leg game. So, then, yeah, you know, yeah, again, yeah. it's not, oh, you have one bad game and, and you're done. Um, so, yeah, I, I do like it. I think that there could definitely be tweaks with um, the fixtures. I think the BBL know, um, you know, that it, what we put out there in terms of the schedule is, is good, but, you know, it, it, they, they everyone has ambitions to, to get better. And I feel like when the BBL starts getting more teams, I feel like that's when we really see improvements in the schedule across the board, whether that's Cup, League, Trophy and, and playoffs. So, yeah, um, I, I really like it. I'm, I'm happy. It gives, it gives everyone a really even chance. Um, you know, it's good for the fans to have so many Cup games and, and enjoy that that, that um, 
that competition as well. So yeah, I'm, I, I like it, and you know, I think a lot of other people do too. Yeah, well, well, going back, you know, because you said in, in a lot of ways it can be kind of a breeze. And we saw last year, I guess, with Cheshire, you know, kind of struggled to start off with, you know, for whatever reason, with co- you know, with COVID issues and that, and then made a couple, I think, made a couple of changes. And then, why, you know, why, it seemed like they were wiping the floor with, every, with everyone for, you know, for weeks and weeks in the league. So, so yeah, yeah. That, 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 was, that was a funny one. It was because obviously, the league got pushed back because of COVID. Yeah. And yeah. then once this the once it started, there was such a fine um sort of space of time where you had to have all your cup games completed before the first round. Oh, so when yeah, yeah. one of our players tested positive for COVID and everyone else in the house that he lived with, the other five guys that yeah, he lived with, yeah. all had to isolate. We couldn't reschedule our games for in two weeks' time when they were out of isolation because the games had to have been played by then. So yeah, the, the in that sense, like it really hurt us. Obviously, we we didn't get a fair shot at the cup. We had, mm. you know, my assistant coach Josh Horton was playing. <laughs> you know, we had we had to bring some guys in, literally just to turn up in a game and, and help us play yeah, up in Glasgow yeah. and stuff like that. So it wasn't ideal by any means. Um, but you know, that was just you know, it was a very a very a strange situation that I don't think would ever be in again uh, with the new isolation rules, with the new COVID rules, with the league starting at the right time and not everything getting pushed back. So it was strange, but it, I feel like that was a one-off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Cheshire squad this season, you know, it, it's looking like a very strong, you know, very strong squad. And I think one of the first teams to kind of start making announcements like it very, you know, very soon. And one of the acquisitions that impressed me a lot was, you know, the Teddy, Teddy Ocarina for, you know, having that kind of pedigree of the point guard position is very good. So, how far as a coach, how far do you think they can go with this, to this year? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're, we're really happy with um, our recruitment. Um, we wanted to try something a little bit different, obviously going with yeah, yeah. Uh, Teddy and, and, and Jules as the, our, our primary guards in terms of ball handling. Um, that sort of freed us up to have Americans in different positions. Yeah. So... Um, you know, being able to bring name on right, who's like a, a real, very good scorer, great shooter in, um, it, it is going to help us. So, um, yeah, it's difficult to say how far can we go because I feel like a lot of teams this year have really improved. I think yeah, maybe yeah, one yeah. or two teams will will stay the same or or maybe go backwards a little bit, depending. Um, but obviously, no one, you know, there's a few teams that haven't even announced half their roster yet. Yeah, so yeah. it's really hard to say. Um, we do believe that with the guys that we've got, um, we can push up the, up the table. You know, we want we really want to start being in the top half of the table, if not higher, um, consistently going forward. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of the guys here they want to be in the top four, and and, and that's that aligns with what I I'd like to see yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, and then obviously go as far as we can in the cup trophy playoffs. Um, you know, the cup. Is tough. I feel like the, the North group is probably a lot tougher than the South group this year. Um, so that's it's going it's going to be tough to get out the group. But um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. We just want to try and push as hard as we can. Um, you know, in terms of the roster, I feel like we've got a, a completely different roster to last year. Yeah, yeah. Um, last year we really struggled from three the three point line. Um, you know, we we didn't really have any shooters that were shooting consistently night in and night out. Whereas this year we've got shooters more or less in every position. So, um, you know, we'll be different. We'll be a completely different team. We've built the roster that way. Um, so, yeah, we're excited to see how we get on when it comes to actually playing real yeah. real life games. <laughs> so, so we, we spoke about it briefly at the start. So last season, you know, obviously we were, we were lucky to have the season, but how difficult was it playing behind closed doors? I think Cheshire had, I think... Cheshire were one of the teams that had one game, I think, with, with the fans in. So comparing that to, you know, behind closed doors, how difficult was it? Yeah, you know, the, the club, the management, they done a really good job. We were the only team last year to have fans yeah, in at yeah. all. Um, so that was really, really good. Um, honestly, like, it was weird because we play, like, pre-season games um, every year. And normally you don't really have any fans and maybe you yeah, know, yeah, 10 yeah. people sat over the other side who have helped drive you there or <laughs> volunteers and stuff like that. And 
when the season started, that's what it felt like. It just felt like a bit of a pre-season game. It was really hard to sort of um, get atmosphere going. You know, yeah. the, the benches, like some benches in the league were, were a lot better than others. Um, you know, Plymouth Raiders last season, they were, they were really <laughs> good. Their bench was very supportive and made a lot of noise. So it, it was hard. Like basketball is a game of runs and, and those yeah, ones happen yeah. when the crowd get behind you and the atmosphere is electric and, and stuff like that. And, you know, to, to build those runs yourselves when you haven't got the support of the crowd or, or that energy to, to sort of thrive off, it, it is difficult. So it was strange. Um, I feel like myself and, and the rest of the players, the, the longer it went on, uh, the more used to it we were. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you say, you have to build that energy yourself. But it was strange. And, you know, I've said it, I've said it before, basketball is, it, it really is nothing without fans. Um, you know, it's a very sort of intimate sort of sport, like in, in, in terms of, you know, the crowd is, is literally five metres away from, from yeah, the court. Yeah. You know, sometimes even closer back, back at Manchester, you, you know, you're half a metre away from the court at, at that, that leisure centre, George oh, Cornell or wherever yeah, it was, sure. and that was crazy. I, I had fans in my team talks there, but... Um, <laughs> You know, we, you know, the fans, the fans mean everything to the sport. The fans yeah, mean everything yeah. to the players. They, they thrive on it, off it, and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting it back. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I guess answered my next question now. How much do you think it will help the team and, and give the players, a, you know, give the players a boost with with fans back at you know El, Ellesmere Park? Yeah, I mean, I always say this, and you know, every other coach has has their own opinion of. You know, their fans are the best yeah, yeah. And, and all that sort of stuff. You know, I honestly believe that, you know, as we thought Sports Village, when when um, when it's loud, when it's packed out, there's not many arenas which have that same sort of atmosphere. Mm. It is, it's very loud and, um, you know, we have a lot of schools there. That, that, like yeah, I said, the yeah, club does yeah. a great job in the community and we get a lot of uh, schools and stuff and they make a ton of noise with their air horns and all that <laughs> sort of stuff. And um, yeah, it just the, the players feed off it, but it's going to help my team 100%, but it's going to help everyone else's team when yeah, you're on away yeah, game. You know, when we're yeah. playing Manchester, your crowd is going to help you and, and, and that sort of thing. So I don't think it helps any one team. You know, it, it's pretty, it evens itself out, but definitely mm. looking forward to it. Our team will be better for having fans. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't, can't wait can't wait to get them back. Okay, so, Man, you know, Manchester and Cheshire, it was it was weird last season. It was like Manchester had kind of bragging rights at the start of the season and then when, and then Cheshire had, had them, you know, at the end, so it's you know it's a rivalry, and both teams have kind of made made a statement in the summer, you know, with with the signing. So, do you you know do you look forward to those games in particular against those rivals, or do you kind of just treat it the same as you know any other game? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, obviously, I know you're a Manchester boy, <laughs> and that's your team, and everything. Um, I, I, you know, their bragging rights weren't warranted. They were playing against guys that, yeah, that were yeah. BBL players at the start. Yeah, that, 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 that didn't matter to me, but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You know, when, when when they beat us in the cup, you know, that really doesn't mean anything because yeah. they, you know, they played, they they did beat us on in the Sky game when we played at Worcester and that one hurt. Um, mm. But obviously, we then turned around and, you know, turned up at your place and, and, and you know, performed really, really well. I think the first half we were up by probably 30 or 40 points and oh, you guys awesome. definitely brought it back to within 10 or something yeah, and yeah, they got yeah. a little bit hairy but <laughs> we managed to pull it away again and um, you know the, it, it's, it is a great sort of uh, derby you know the Northwest derby um, do we treat it the same as every other game no absolutely not it's a derby mm. you can't um, you know whether it was three years ago Manchester you know are, are, are bottom you know one of the bottom of the league team sorry yeah, yeah, two yeah. years ago when the bottom of the league team they still come and play hard against us and yeah. you know give us a game um you know it's it's it you can't compare it to playing Glasgow or yeah, uh, yeah, Newcastle yeah. they have their own sort of um characteristics of of, of a game for, for us but the Manchester game is is completely different and we have to approach it in in the same way um we really look forward to it. The atmosphere is great, whether it's at home or away. We know that it's going to be a loud, yeah, a loud yeah, gym yeah. and a loud fan base. So, um, yeah, it's different. I'm looking. I'm definitely looking forward to this year. Manchester have done a great job. Um, you know, they've recruited a, you know a, a huge roster in terms of how many players they've got. That's obviously going to have its challenges and keeping everyone happy yeah, and yeah, play, yeah. you know playing everyone 
the right amount of minutes and, and finding the best best five on the floor. You know, the coach is going to have a hell of a job, but, you know, I, I believe that, he, you know, he's a good coach. I know Lloyd still hasn't been announced yet, but I believe Lloyd's the coach. And, yeah. um, you know, he's... You know he's he's done well at London City Royals. He's done well at the end of last season. So you know, ho- hopefully he he can for his sake. You know, get the best out of the team. But it's definitely gonna have its challenges. But they've they've, they've recruited really really well. Yeah. Um. So looking forward to it. It's gonna be a challenge, and um, can't wait to match up against them. Yeah. Well, I, I've got to say as well, last season it kind of it kind of felt like we were playing each other every week. You know, felt every, every week it'd be we're playing Cheshire and, and then someone else. But, but yeah. I, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh wait, I think it's it's twenty six at Ellesmere. Yeah, Ellesmere yeah. Port. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the first, our first home game is obviously the Northwest Derby, so big game. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of time between now and then. A lot of things can happen, and you know, we, like I say, we're not ready to play just yet. But after a few yeah, preseason yeah, games yeah. and stuff like that, you know, we'll be excited and we'll be ready to go. Yeah, can't can't wait for it. But yeah, thank thank you for coming on. You know, talk, talking to me about Cheshire and preseason, and I guess what it was like last season and uh, I look forward to, to 26. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marcel, thanks for having me and, uh, you know, great work with, with everything that you do with the BBL lab and, and things like that. It's, it's great to see all these channels out there, um, you know, covering the BBL. So, um, yeah, best luck and if, if you want me back on throughout the season to talk about anything, if, you know, if we beat Manchester and you want a little uh, bit quicker so... review <laughs> or anything like that, just let me know. <laughs>